Quirk Field the Demon 2, Aunt Rosie and the Delta Zan Necronomicon. Now, this is more bio information on Quirk Seal. It's not his story yet. I might even do a number three, which might have more bio or possibly plot information. But the story won't be done until 2024. And that's, that's what I've said in some of the videos. Now, uh, Quirk Seal is in the DC Noah universe. So, theoretically, he's in the... He's meant to be part of a, a DC universe, a DC Comics universe. The standard mainstream sort of universes, the new universes, or, or what, what, if you know what I mean, the standard comics ideas for comics, DC Comics characters. He's a standard comic character. Now, in the DC Noah universe, of course. Now... The word quirks means a, pecu a peculiar aspect of a person's character or behaviours. And his name is based on the English word itself. It's not based on a Latin word or a Greek word, although I'm not sure the basis of quirks anyway, the roots of quirks. I'm not sure what it, that word is based on, if it's based on another language. I don't really know for sure. But regardless, his his the meaning of his name and for I created the name. So what his name mean means in my creation of it is the quirks of God. Quirks Zeal. L E L is L Elohim. God. That's the Hebrew word for God. So he's the quirks of God. So in as much as that Etrigan, the demon of Jason Blood, of, of a demon comic, Jason Blood, who says, Gone, gone, form of man, behold the demon Etrigan. When Etrigan takes over the body and person of Jason Blood, he was created by Jack Kirby in the 1970s. I'm pretty sure it's a Jack Kirby creation. And Etrigan is sort of, he's a demon, so I'm not going to say he's not, but he's. Not exactly what you would call it a terribly evil demon that much. He's sort of, some of the times he's sort of, he's an anti-hero sort of character like Lobo, isn't he, quite a bit? Sort of, he's serving Jason's blood's will to a certain degree, and sometimes he's fighting, fighting crookedness and stuff like that. He's sort of, he's not exactly the epitome of satanic dark evil is Etrigan. He's a bit of an anti-hero sort of character. So in this, in that sense as well, in the sense of like like Etrigan, Quirkseal is a demon, but he represents the quirks of God. So it's like the quirky, peculiar, weird aspects of Almighty God. The uh, the dark side indeed, because he's a demon, but like in Judaic tradition, Samael actually is a servant angel, sort of demonic fellow of God. Quirkseal, to an extent, serves God somewhat as a character. He's, he's a peculiar aspect, the dark side of the traits of Jehovah. So he's not completely an evil, wicked bastard all the time. He has a dark sense of humor and wicked strain. There's the potentiality might rhyme like Etrigan, maybe a little bit anyway. I don't really know. We'll see how that goes. But he's uh, he's not what you would call a satanic evil demon who you offer goat sacrifices to, if you know what I mean. 